I grew up in a farm in Mylaw, uh, in a family of five. I was the eldest child. Um, it was a, a very secure upbringing, a very tight family unit. When I was 12 years of age, my parents um, decided to send me to boarding school. I said yes, not knowing any better. That wasn't a good experience for me. I was very lonely there. I remember when I came home from uh, the first summer at the end of first year, I begged my, my sisters and, and brother to convince my parents to allow me to go to the local day school. They agreed, but on, one, on the basis that I would milk 80 cows every evening with my sister. I said, no problem. Work was a major feature of my life. And to this day, it still is, uh, because the work ethic was so strong. It was just a normal, a normal piece of life. At the age of 17 and 18, at that stage, I was dying to move on, see the big smoke. I um, went to teacher training college in Black Rock and became a primary teacher. One of my supervisors, interestingly enough, was uh, Seamus Heaney, who gave me some very good advice about how to connect well with children. I loved teaching once I got into the practice of teaching. So I was teaching, first of all, in Athen Rye, a wonderful community there in Newcastle and still keep contact with that community because I learned so much there. I learned how to connect with children, the families and the whole community. I then took a career break, got married and went to the States, went to New York. And this is now, we're talking about the late 80s, when immigration was, was just a feature of the day in Ireland. And so many were immigrating at the time. And there was a great buzz about that too. So I was, I was teaching over there and also went to college at, in the evenings and did a master's. I came back then in the early 90s and um, back teaching again and decided to look at teacher education. Decided to do a PhD, which I did in UIG in Galway. Simultaneously, I was trying to have children. And that was a major uh, challenge for us as a couple um, because I ended up having to adopt my two children, our two children. And this was, I suppose, really the entire feature of, you could say, the 90s for us. Um, but it was the greatest gift we've ever been given because really through my experience with children, through my experience in education, and now living in the city I do, in Galway, and so many young people being a feature of life there, this is really one of the reasons that I felt I had something special to offer and something unique to offer um, in education, uh, sorry, in politics. So when I made the decision to go into politics and pursue it formally, um, it was with the belief that I could make a difference, in particular to the education system, because I, felt, I still feel really strongly that education is the key to personal growth, to the nation's growth, and to a just society.